Oh, so he got the um, new power then, huh? So it turned out that our Proshka used to be a chewed demon. Jesus Christ! <laughs> yes. Didn't expect that, Grandpa, did you? Perhaps now I'll be the one to tell you to hunt mice. <laughs> Unbelievable! I didn't think that such strong spirit would enter your service. I'm glad all the training worked out. Or is it the book? So, now you're going to stay with us? Well, yeah. I'll live out my cat life with Vasilisa. I found mine, now I help Vasilisa find hers. And no nagging about mice. You might be St. George himself, but you should still do your duty. While I still have my teeth, I am the master of this house. Don't worry, Grandpa. I'll take care of it. Consider the mice gone. <laughs> how do you like my new fur? What a glow. I don't know how to address you now. Proshka or Voipil? Proshka it is. I told you that I'll stay with you until all the seals are open. You've helped me. Now it's my turn. I'm not scared of any charts. How can they possibly harm me? What kind of spirit are you? A chewed one. Fairmans believed in me in the olden days. My powers have veined. I can catch mice, though. You're helping me then again. Yeah, and my power grows because of that. So I won't leave you. <laughs> You've remembered your past, but won't you forget it all once again? Yes, you become that what you're doing. If you'll be a Sosietka for a hundred years, then you'll become one. If you wouldn't have reminded me of the past, then who knows? Maybe I would have become a hairy old man then in another hundred. Enough of this Sosietka business. When you're free, your guy, I go back to mountains. I will fly around like a free northern wind. I won't forget a thing that way. Okay, uh, let's see. Mm -hmm. Visitors? And I was here by dawn. And I... Why didn't you leave that short to make Sacri catch the cockroaches? I'll think of something with the Vodinoi. You'd better. Have you heard All this right. one already? You need to go to the mill. I... I'm getting better and better. Ha! You bet the longer you hold on to this book, the brighter it shines. And the taller the shadow is behind your back. Doesn't matter who holds this book, a girl or an old man. This shadow keeps growing and in time will cover villages, peasants, friends and family. Finally, it gets to you. Well, time to go to the mill. Mm. It's not far from Gaina village. You won't get lost there. God be with you. I'm a fisherman from the northern lake, Vatti, Lord forgive. I came to thank you. I don't know what you did, but the Vodinoi stopped cutting our nets. Here, I brought some dried pike from our crew. Hmm. Nice. And let's see, there's nothing here. No. Uh, do, 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 do. Then it is time for us to set off. Pedro village. Never been here before, but it seems like a normal, normal village. Or could it be everyone here worships the Vodianoi as in ancient time? Or maybe they do. Near the old Izba, a man is scolding his wife. Half the village soon gathers to listen to the quarrel. Half the peasants take the side of the husband, while the other half support the wife. 
Hmm. Then what's wrong? The subject of the argument turns out to be a saw that breaks down every other time. The man suspects that his wife is cursing it, while she insists she is innocent. Well, let's inspect it then. This item looks like it's been repaired quite often. Looks like it was fixed by the local smith a couple of days ago. For help? You think that the smith may know something about the defect and learn how to get to his izba. You decide on your next actions. It turns out the mill has long since been abandoned and is rather notorious here. Hardly anyone is brave enough to get close to the building. The talk is the Vadinoi still grabs passers-by and drags them to the bottom. You decide on your next action. Okay, so we're gonna go over there to get to the smithy. We should be Genskoi. Genskoi. The village isn't far from the mill. On the village street, you meet a strange peasant procession with chests and sacks. A peasant clutching a sleepy rooster walks in the lead. The people stop, noticing you on their way. The old women start to cross themselves, thinking you to be a bad omen. The man walking at the head of the procession addresses you. Who are you, bareheaded wench? What are you doing here at night? A rooster in hand, and sacks full of clothing. What are these peasants planning? Hmm. No divinations. It shouldn't be gift either. But they escape and moving. Escaped, and I don't think they would have uh, all this stuff with them. Yes, hmm. They don't seem to be in a rush, though. Say moving. I mean, if I'm wrong, it's 100 XP. Huh? They're carrying their belongings with them at midnight. This can be only one ritual. Oh, it's a ritual for the moving. Looks like they're offering the rooster as a sacrifice to the Susietko. so they're moving. I'm a simple traveler who's lost her way. So you're moving into a new izba? None of your business, wench. Help. I'm a witch doctor. I can help you move. After a brief discussion, the peasants accept your offer. Hey, mine is you make a sacrifice Bad. near the future hut while whispering Zagavars. Thankful people offer you some gifts. Okay, yeah, nice. Salomon, uh, I feel somewhat frightened. Evil spirits are close, so combat. I want to try it. It's a blessing, damn it. Come on. You go past the new houses of the settlement and approach the Kama Bank. The Vajinoi was sure to be followed by his retinue, dead men and drowners from the underwater domain. Breathing in the fresh night air, you draw a circle. The Chthonian guests show up almost immediately. Your recent acquaintances emerge from the river. <laughs> These two, huh? Talk. Is that you, witch? Ah, it's these guys. A witch! A witch! You! What do you need here? Vakul has gone to the water mill. So the border is thin. We came along too. So help him deal with that girl also. Keep quiet. It crayfish eat your brains. <laughs> Oh, these two. If you know the Vodinoi so well, 
Maybe you can tell me how to help the Saltwalker and the Rosalka. The Wooden Noi took a liking to you. He likes Noors. He doesn't like that you held the Rosalka with her name. He planned to live with her for a long time. What's he going to do with her now that she remembered her past? Hmm. He was upset that you held the shepherd. He got so angry. There were waves all over. Wakul is not in a good mood now. He'll probably demand a ransom. I don't know how much. But he won't ever let the Rusalka go. Only when her time comes. Like the rest of the Drowners. When my time comes, I'll become a Badinoi myself. <laughs> Keep quiet. Did crayfish eat your brains? Probably. Hmm. So, if we attack them now. Yeah. I'll probably send you back to your underwater hole. Well, you won't beat us here. Let's try this. There's him. Uh, no. Okay. Damage. So. Uh, I'm gonna do that. Put that on him. He should take a lot of damage though. Yeah, still need it. <laughs> oh, that was awesome. Okay, time for you to die. Um I didn't get the curse. Good bot. I got the trash. Uh, eight. Well, when Timber. Uh, do we need more of these? Uh, I like these though. Having, hmm, having three of these would be really nice too. Hmm. Man, because I couldn't, he couldn't, uh, couldn't do all the damage, so I didn't hit all the way up. Yep, let's go and talk to the smithy. Thanks me who did such a poor job repairing the two lips here. That The smithy is built on the far end of the village to prevent fires. You knock at the door and shudder. The sound disturbs the heavy silence. The door opens. The first thing you see is a gun. And then, the smith. Who are you? It seems a bit early for Carly. A man from Fyodorova sent me. Here, his saw is fixed poorly. The smith puts down his gun and inspects the tool. Ah, lousily done. It's my work. But what can you do? I'm afraid to walk for too long. You won't believe me. I'm a knower. I've seen a lot of things. Christ Almighty. Well, listen. The devil himself visits me. He looks like an ordinary God-fearing man, but smells of drink. 
he comes and tells me, chew my horses. So I'm lifting the horse's hoof and see a human foot. Hmm. This peasant has it backwards, hooves for feet, and he stares at me with his eyes. So I had to shoe a human foot. Lord, forgive me. I've been afraid to open the door ever since. You say he smells of drink? Hmm. I met shorts such as this yesterday. They won't bother you anymore. You chased them away? I don't know how to thank you. Give me that saw. It will be as good as new. The grateful smith fixes the tool and bows low to you. On your way back, you give the peasant the saw and receive your reward. Nice. Okay, well that turned out nice. Wine shop, what the heck? Not that I would be interested in this kind of shop, so I'm just passing by. Yeah. Like me in real life, I'm not too... Not that fond of wine. The wine shop is working until late. Warm light from its window pours onto the street, hidden in the dark. Noticing your book, the wine seller invites you inside. He claims to have books for sale. Mm, does he now? I see you're interested in books. You have a great one with you, I see. Is it old? I am not only selling drinks, you know. Care to look? Ooh, what do you have? Wondering if there is more actually a cell here. My uh, things that we don't really need. Uh, I'm kind of curious to see. I don't think we have one of these ever before. I'm gonna buy one at least. Have it. The uh, string fence status curse. Why didn't it buy it? Increases uh, in pages for two. This would fit in with anything really. Uh, I mean, presence is nice. What's that would mean? It will um, add plus two to the curse, and then we have the cards that does three times the curse. I mean, practically, this is plus six damage. As long as uh, put on the cursed enemy. Hmm. But is it worth what I'm losing out on? That's the question. Uh, at least I don't need all these.
this one is nothing we need really. Uh, Gives us plus one damage, but we get a waste every time we start on us. So it will do nine damage on us. So I will do enough damage to recover it in the beginning. If we have multiple enemies. Or, oh, uh, so do a lot of damage. So, Empress gives us. For, yeah. I'll probably take in all in all it will give me minus three health. Plus uh, we get plus one on all cards. We can do four defensive cards is most. It's not that much it does. It's like four damage. But then if you add up uh, the question is how if this one is added before you know when you have similar of the same and it's added up in damage the question is how this one is added to it before that or after it so it could be really good or it can be pretty meh But yeah, a small river apparently people used to drown here often. Nothing strange about that. There's a mill nearby. Okay. Nothing strange. On the riverbank, you see a peasant that used to look after the Vaginois cows. He is alive and obviously free, but his eyes are empty and he can't say a word. Say? You know these things happen to regular people who have been through such experiences. You guide the man to the village and explain that he needs to get to his home. Nekrasova. Okay. What a meal. What a meal is often considered to be bad places is because meals often strike deals with the body and Okay. The mill rises above the pool of the river inflow. The Izba is decrepit, and the water wheel is silent. The reeds around it rustle mysteriously. You're greeted by a salt worker. Oh, Vasilisa. I visited the Vadinoi and learned about your daughter. Don't you think it's something worth telling me? How could I? God, this is all like in a bad dream. He took Yvdekia, but I didn't know he was the one to blame. And I didn't think for a minute that he would send her to kill people. I thought there was another Vajinoi. I thought I had escaped from that one. So much death, so many sacrifices. Sacrifices. I offered money, vodka, porridge. It's still not enough for Vakul. It he only wants lives. Did you make a pact with the Vajinoi here? Yes, this is my old water mill. I used to work here. When I built it, I made a pact with Vakul. He tells me it's business as usual, so I thought I'd pay it off with rubles. It's never that easy with demons. Several years later, he started playing tricks with shadows. His way of asking for his sacrifice. I never wanted to hurt anyone, and so I refused him. He then took it for himself. I had an apprentice, a guy who poured grain. A fine lad. I liked him a lot. And the Vajinoi dragged him into the water. The demon drowned him. Do you understand? Mm. 
Then I abandoned that water mill. I couldn't stay there. I opened these salt works later. I thought he had already taken what was due. But it was never enough for him. Turns out he's the one who took my daughter. He killed my Dusha. How did the Vodinoi find you in the salt works? This factory is far away. I thought another Vodinoi managed this place. And so it used to be in the beginning. I managed to make some money milling the wheat. First I built a small factory and then it expanded. We got along fine with another water demon. He did not want any human sacrifice. Then I gather Vakul beat him and took this river under his control. But I wasn't aware. And then he somehow learnt about me. What happened to your daughter? My daughter. She had nothing to do with it. When Vakul found me here, I, I think wanted to teach me a lesson. Yvdakia went to Silikamsk in winter by sleigh. The ice broke beneath her. No one found my daughter, nor did they find the sleigh. That time, I didn't guess who was... It's not the Vajinoi my grandfather told me about. God punished me. He sent the most devious one. I think you'll be able to talk to Vakul today. Oh, I will. That damn chort, I will. I don't think you can handle him. Only I can. Besides, even I won't be able to kill him. Masters of nature are strong. Mm. Do what you can. I will. I think Vakul will show up sooner if you start the mill. Can do. I already inspected it while I waited. I've opened the screen, but the wheel doesn't spin. The chute is worn out. I can patch it. These chute hits a pity. Some of them are too Oops. far gone. Too there early. aren't enough paddles on the wheel. Look around a bit. We should have enough here. Then we will start it. I'll wait for you inside. I'll fix what I can. All right. I'll find some boards for you. found a fitting vein for a watermill wheel. You found a fitting vein for a water. blocks water from going to the mill. Still water, and it's deep at that. It seems there's something. Oh. Around mill. We're lucky it still stands. Another herb. Want to speak to him? I can't. 
Vakul won't allow it. He's not here yet. I can't disobey him, no matter how much I'd like to. I need the blades. For the wheel? I know. Here's the blade. Take it. The Rusalka gives you a part of the mechanism. There's something in this name, Vakul. A bit of perm, you think? I feel he's close. Hmm. So, yeah, I guess we got everything. <coughs> hmm. We'll do a save before we go in. Silisa. Three blades. That's enough. Well, we have everything we need to start the mill. Bakul will appear as soon as we start the wheel. All right, it's time. The salt worker quickly fixes the mechanism. He looks like he's done it plenty of times. Soon, the squeaky wheel makes one rotation, then another. Greetings, Vadinoi. Well, 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 Bakul. Ah, my old acquaintance. Come to break another promise. Hmm. Father, I... I didn't tell you to speak. A water stream knocks the salt worker and the Rusalka off their feet. You make a lousy guest, Vasilisa. Is it what we do in the Perm region? Still serfs from their master. There aren't any serfs anymore. Silence! It seems the bandits still don't make any offerings. Is there a problem, Vasilisa? The bandits were killed by demons. Failed the task. But I like you, Rich. Tell me what you want. Oh. Hmm. Yeah, here we have four choices. Hello, Saloon. How are you doing? Hmm, what are we gonna do here? How's your avatar adventure going? Hmm. So, if I break the seal, then I don't get the mermaid. What happens if I pick just the mermaid, though? What happens with the seal? This I need to break the seal and free the Rusalka. What good comes of keeping her with you? She's a nice girl. <laughs> the 
That's why I'm keeping her because she's nice. I'm not impartial to compassion, so I'm ready to make a deal. You want both? Then I require gold as your sacrifice. Every wish has its price. Mine is a small one. I don't know what the Wait, I changed my mind. Uh, if I attack him and beat him, would she be free though? But if I'm attacking him, fighting, then I get the XP. Ah, <laughs> uh, choice. I beat him, and it will uh, still break the seal. <laughs> yeah, I bet he does. Ah, uh, damn it! Choices, man. Do I want the XP or do I want, I want the XP? XP. Not that much of a deal for this game, it feels like. Do like this, free the mermaid. Free the Rosalka. I will deal with the seal somehow. Hope I have enough time. Happy to do business with you, Wedge. The Vajinoi leaves the Rusalka and disappears into oh, the depths. Minus three seal. You think of where you can get another Vajinoi to break the seal, but your ruminations are interrupted by the Rusalka. She touches the book. Oh. One more seal is gone. Okay. Path, I'm just wondering if this is worth it. I just wonder what you get uh, for killing him, though. Oh, forgive me, Dusha. You died because of me. No, don't even think about blaming yourself. I'm free from the water demon now. I still have no answer for my sins. Wait. We'll meet again someday. Farewell, father. The Rusalka smiles at the salt worker and vanishes into white light. On your way back, you comfort Pahom with tales of life after death. But he seems to be happy with how things turned out. Isn't that the most banal of a legend? Hmm. Maybe, but there's too many consequences. The drowners are talking about her. The girl is strong, they say. There are rumors coming from other spirits. Yeah, it's nice that they put in voice acting in Disco Elysium. I mean, in the beginning there wasn't any, so I do have the game, uh, still I haven't played it, though. <laughs> There's too many games to play. Now they agreed to protect a wedding. She must think I would try cuss it. <laughs> I'm enjoying this one, though. If she sticks needles in me, I'll be left without any power. Go to Pakcha. They won't be expecting you. I have certain doubts about this. I've seen her in the village. Not everyone can handle that power. You should be more confident. I haven't taught you for nothing. You should curse the wedding to be on an equal footing. It won't be easy. 
the heck is this? If she really has the book, I may finally be able to control this force. Right, right. There you will find out. And if this is true, you can do anything you wish for. So goes the legend. Okay. Now who the spinner is and stuff we have uh, dealings with her before, but I have no idea. This guy is something we don't know about yet. Take a look at them first. I've sent charts throughout the area. It will be a good occasion. But this wedding. I wouldn't want to curse peasants. You know how I am with demons. Don't make me laugh. Who will you curse then? You think you can turn the procession? This thing happened last with my grandmother. Go back as soon as you take the book. So be it. Take my book? Well, get ready. Aim it to you. 